All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house uh, uh, with this uh, pretty cool knife over here. This is a custom Gareth Ball Shamwari. And we're gonna try to improve the action, clean it up and see how it is on the inside. But uh, hey, don't forget to like the video and maybe you can also subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of stuff that I'm uh, bringing to you guys. This is a pretty cool knife, guys. Uh, really smooth already, but I think I might be able to improve a little bit. So we're gonna need a T8 a Torx bit uh, um, driver for the handle screw right over here. Just very simple construction. You've got this pretty cool um, uh, nut uh, right there. And then you're gonna need a T10 for the pivot. On this side, you have this pretty cool uh, over travel. And here you just have a T10 right over here and uh, we are pretty much done guys so so blade uh, you see gets a little bit off center so let me try to yeah there you go it just comes off without moving anything so you got uh, one scale you got uh, your pin you got uh, the blade just be gentle when you do this, okay? You don't want to get cut and you don't want to scratch anything. So this guy is out. And then you've got one standoff and you got the rest of the uh, pin and everything. Yeah, this guy needs a little bit of cleaning for sure. So for this, we're going to take just one uh, alcohol swab like this guy. And uh, um, we're going to start like from these scales. These are little tiny. I'm gonna maybe take something else. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so this is titanium, of course. Uh, and uh, it looks like has uh, I don't know some kind of anodization here in the bearing track. <laughs> I don't know. And. Uh, And I'm gonna take uh, just like a, a microfiber cloth with some uh, rubbing alcohol because it's uh, it's gonna be just easier to clean this scale like so, like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Just clean the side. Pivot color doesn't. I don't think it's coming out. Maybe it's glued in, I don't know. Um, so this scale is done. Let's just do the blade over here. Very, very nice. Like so, let's just clean all the tang here, all the crevices. Let me see, yeah, that's very nice uh, indeed. That's beautifully done, guys. Really, really cool. Uh, so, blade is done. And let's do this uh, scale over here. And uh, there you go. Nice uh, hidden screw uh, construction for the clip, as you can see. Very clean. It's, uh, let's see. It's very nicely done, guys. And here you've got uh, yeah, this area. You can see the detent ball, like from this angle, too. And you can see how the pivot is acting as an over travel uh, stop. Very nice. And uh, so, yeah, this guy is done, basically. And uh, you can just put it here. And uh, Let's just clean these guys up and you're pretty much done guys. It's a very nice process. <clears throat> Sorry, very nice process for me. Uh, disassembling the knives. It's uh, it's like a me meditative uh, uh, thing, like something you do to relax uh, yourself, uh, to do some uh, 
patience uh, exercise because sometimes uh, you know some knives might be a little bit frustrating to take apart this is just a breeze this is just a pleasure uh, but sometimes uh, you know you can learn uh, a little bit about yourself so oh and these are uh, ceramic caged bearings hmm very interesting I'm kind of tempted to try uh, and mount some skiffs which I happen to have over here so you know why not let's do this you know a little upgrade uh, right these are the right ones oh yeah let's see guys um, how these are doing uh, on this uh, you know I mean it's a custom sham I think it deserves a couple skiffs right what do you guys think and let's get uh, back to uh, assembling this guy and uh, this pivot go goes here it's uh, looks like this guy is spinning it's not indented but here it doesn't look like to be spinning huh let me see this guy doesn't look uh, D-shaped or indented or keyed in in any ways. In fact, but here there's a point where it's kind of like not rotating that easily. So maybe it's just the shape. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. And boom, look at that skiff in the house. And uh, I'm going to use some uh, 10 weight uh, nano oil like maybe one two and three drops on that a little bit on the pivot uh, and then uh, you just do the uh, stopping in like so these guys we can just put in the bag and I mark uh, on this bag that uh, these bearings will come from the sham and then you just do the blade like so blade is in pretty cool ceramic detent ball right there um, here I'm just gonna do the bearing up here and one two and three drops and then I want to try to use a little bit heavier weight nano oil like uh, 85 uh, for the detent ball I'm gonna try to do something more viscous maybe yeah just like that maybe to achieve some kind of gliding shuttiness all right let's see because this blade is not that heavy so who knows and then this guy goes back in from the back let's just keep it uh, tilted like so so it doesn't get out and then you've got your standoff and um, we are pretty much done let's just align the pivot the, the stop pin sorry and uh, Oops, this came out. So let's just hold it up like so. And that's in. And that is also in. Disengage the blade. Just keep it pinched. So now I'm um, just going to do handle screw first. Like this. Here you go. And then uh, let's just change uh, the T8 and gently just do the handle screw just be careful because this yeah like that has to be in the right position otherwise you're gonna risk uh, to strip that which is something you don't want to do All right and that is uh, is it done i don't know almost um so i'm just gonna screw this in all the way but not like too tight because I want to do I want to make sure yeah that everything is alright so in this case I don't think I'm gonna use any Loctite guys because this is a spinning pivot and I'm I'm not gonna do the blue Loctite even if you know it's not gonna hurt but uh, it's alright I'm not gonna do it um, I just want to see first of all Okay, let's see. All right, blade is centered. Let me check uh, for, uh, let me see. Blade play, there's none. Ooh. 
Okay, let's see if we can do a little bit less tension on the pivot, a little bit more here in the handle. Okay, let's see. Snappy. Ooh, look at that. Let's check blade play. There is a tiny bit. So let's see, let's see if we can tune it. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe that's too much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yes, guys, this is a fantastic improvement on the sham, on skiff. Oh my God. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Now we're talking about a smooth action like that. Maybe I can just tighten a little bit more and have something a little bit more gliding. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at this guys. Yes, that's great. Awesome, there you go. So guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.